Well, hello friends and welcome to a chair in a room, Greenwater. I am playing on my Oculus Rift by way of Steam VR. So here we are folks, finally back in the Rift after some seven to ten days in PlayStation VR. I decided to jump back in to check out a chair in a room Greenwater because it's coming out this week for PlayStation VR. So I'm standing here in the calibration room. You know, most games have one of these. I normally don't record. I normally wait until I get to the title screen before I start recording my videos. But I wanted to point something out here first before we got into the game. So I'm standing here. Alright, so this is the calibration room where you're supposed to be comfortable, supposed to get comfortable with the controls. So that, like many games, they put the controls on posters on the wall. There's one over here that shows you how to teleport. The other one over here tells you how to turn. So when I try to use these, they don't work. The only thing I can do is crouch, right? I can't turn, I can't walk around. So I thought that was odd. I thought maybe I need to check something off in the settings. So I open up the menu and it says here, I have a room scaled over two and a half meters by two and a half meters, which means that locomotion is not required. The room will adjust to your play space and you can walk freely around. Note, if you do not wish to use this, please adjust your guardian chaperone system to less than two and a half by two and a half. And these are my only options. Enabling crouch, show the position guide to, at my feet, and show a warning when I'm not facing forward. That's it. That's the entire uh, set of options that I have. If I want to use locomotion in this game, I have to go into my Steam VR chaperone settings and rescale my room. Now this blows my mind that I'm not given the option for locomotion if I want to. You know, some people don't want to walk around, especially someone like me who's spent a week away from Oculus Rift because the last time I was in it, I broke my TV. <laughs> so uh, locomotion's not the most comfortable thing for me right now. And yeah, the boundaries look pretty... Uh, accurate as far as my play space goes but that's not the point the point is i should have the option so i haven't been into the game yet maybe when i get in the game it'll let me start using some locomotion but it doesn't appear so from here and this just blows my mind why they can't have a toggle in the menu i have to literally go into my steam vr settings and go through the calibration process to enable locomotion in this game i'd rather just not play it you know what i mean than than to go through all that but i'm going to give it a shot because of the type of game this is it, it's a uh, escape room so hopefully i'm not going to be required to move too quickly because if so i'm not going to be able to because i don't want to break my new tv but anyway i just thought i would point that out i'm sure that this won't be the case in PlayStation VR surely they're not going to force room scale uh, on the PlayStation VR community because uh, that device isn't really capable of room scale to begin with uh, it's it would be spotty at best anyway let's get into the game I just wanted to point this out we're, we're off on a bad foot here because there's a lack of options for the player and I think that uh, when it comes to locomotion and comfort settings that players should be given all of the options let us decide what we want and what we don't 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 take decisions like this away from us anyway hopefully this is a cool game and it won't matter but uh, let's find out okay friends so we are back I did go through the trouble of going into my oculus home and resetting my guardian boundary as it's easier to do in Oculus than it is to do 
in Steam VR if you're an Oculus user. Anyway, I went ahead and reset my boundaries, made it a little bit smaller, came back into the game, and voila, wouldn't you know, here we go. Locomotion settings. So, locomotion type is, let's see here, free locomotion, both teleport. So I, my generally, I like it when I have the option of doing both. So we're gonna leave that on both. Movement speed needs to be fast. Rotation type needs to be free rotation, fast. Okay. So let's try it out. This is fast rotation. Did it save my settings? It did. So this is fast rotation. Pretty weak if you ask me. I might just go to blank turning. Because if free if free rotation of smooth turning is too slow, it can turn your stomach. So I think I'm probably just gonna go back to blank turning. Um Go to 45 degree blink turns. So what was the other options here? It was set to 90. Yeah, let's do 45. So that's good. It's not, at least it's not a blink. It's just a snap turn. You can still see what's going on. It doesn't force blinders on you. Now I can walk. This is fast, fast movement which is pretty slow, but at least, hey, at least we can move now. And I don't have to worry about breaking my television. So now here we are, 45 minutes into my play session, and finally I get to start this game. Here's my chlorpromazine, chlorpromazine, chlorpromazine hydrochloride, 100 milligrams. This is what they're giving me to sedate me. And the way I feel right now, they're going to need to give me extra. Ah. You must be from the press and Dr. Green. Welcome to the Institute. I'm happy to answer any questions you might have. Why don't you come with me? I'm just taking the station up to the top floor. I like the. I like the opening theme. The drugs. We have to give them drugs. Pretty well done. Some of these patients can be quite Okay. Chapter one, Unamas. The Hospital, November 2013. Is it on? Are we recording? Yeah. 
Right. November the 13th, the patient number is 6079. We are going to try cognitive response test today. All you have to do is listen to the words I read out and visualize the meaning. Your progress will be monitored through the sensors on your headset. I know this is uncomfortable, but please do not remove the equipment. Are we ready? Ball. Swan. Screwdriver. Screwdriver. Box. Boy. Medication. Fork. Mirror. Lamp. Toy. Photograph. Confession. Fuse. Genesis. Paradise. Murder. Negative results. All results show a negative. Do you remember anything? Do you know why you're here? I'm here because this game comes out on PlayStation VR tomorrow. And it had a cool trailer. That's pretty much the reason why I'm here. Patient 6079, please come to the window for your medication. Yeah, we'll do that in a minute, lady. Care for you and your loved ones. It isn't easy on loved ones when your state of mind is compromised. Our brand of chlorprozamine, chlorpromazine, is clinically proven to set you at ease. Shut up. With antipsychotic and mild sedative effects. Look for the green label. When the patient lashes out against them, psychazine, bland of chlorpromazine, quickly puts an end to this violent You're outburst. Only trying to help you. Shut up. Psychazine is especially effective when the psychotic episode is triggered by delusions or hallucinations. At the outset of treatment, psychazine's combination of antipsychotic and sedative effects provides both emotional and physical calming. Assaultive or destructive behavior is rapidly controlled. Please take your medication. As therapy continues, the initial sedative effect gradually disappears, but the antipsychotic effect continues, helping to dispel or modify delusions, hallucinations, and confusion while keeping the patient calm and approachable. Please, just take your medication. Well, since you said the magic word... There you go. Beer. Today you will perform simple memory tests. In front of you is a ball and three cups. I would like you to hide the ball under any of the cups. Move it around and reveal the ball. I will observe your progress. It says no confession. And then there's all these tick marks on the door. So I imagine somebody's been in here for a while. Maybe me. I don't know. But I tried to do this thing before here and I got stuck pretty quickly because I couldn't make it all the way to the corners of the room. Now I can. So hopefully we'll have a different result this time. See, when I was doing this before, I was knocking into my television. Which honestly makes me quite nervous after my vacation simulator experience last week. All right, are we ready? Abracadabra. Please complete the task. What did I just do, lady? What, what do you see? I'm 
Okay, so this is even different than it was last time. Last time when I came in here, there was a... Uh, the ball disappeared and there was a spider. Like a black widow spider. Now there's just nothing. Okay. That's cool. The gameplay changes. See, this thing here, I could barely reach it last time. Gone fishing to Cypress Lodge. Honey, do you recognize the postcard? We all came out to the lodge. It's just how I remember it. So peaceful, but it's just not the same without you. I hope you're holding up okay. We should all come back when you get home. So I assume this is a postcard to me in the hospital here. My family clearly went on vacation without me. Uh, I thought that I needed to interact with this door some way to get out before I see I see uh, I see the all-seeing eye here good old Horace staring at us like he often does in these games I see don't something fear never forget swan no trust so uh, it looks like I've been leaving messages to myself here if I had to guess we're gonna set that there and go back to these cups as they have changed color and moved themselves okay now I'm hearing whispers in my ear that's pretty cool oh it's so much less frustrating now that I can move without moving Just moving chairs with my mind. Your medication is by the door. Well, Katie better bar the door. Attica! More of it. Okay, that was interesting. I do enjoy this type of game, this um, surreal, psychotic type of game where you're, you don't have all your faculties, things appear and disappear. This is right down my alley. This is the type of game I truly enjoy. And if I'm not mistaken, Wolf and Wood the developer of this game is the same uh, same developer of Exorcist Legion VR. All right, so here I see a picture of a swan, which is one of the words that gave me in the initial exercise, and it's also one of the words I carved into the door. What's the significance of the swan? We don't know yet, but we know that there is significance there.
All right, so we have a Bible, some artwork. Looks like it's just past midnight. Nice starry night outside. Can I take the crucifix? I cannot. What do we have here? We have a paper mache globe. Looks like we have some origami. There's a vulture, a crow, a stork, and a swan. When I touch the swan, these noises go off in my ear. So, again, there's some significance to this swan. All right, we have a book here. The writer, Oscar Charrington, I think it says. Can we open it? Can it stay open without me contorting my wrist like this? The writer Oscar Carrington, published by Wolf and Wood of London, first edition, 1886. That's an old book. Can I read it? It doesn't appear so. And if I can, it's too much trouble anyway, so. Unless I can lay it on a table and turn the pages. I can't. I can only get the cover to move. All right, we have the Eiffel Tower. Looks like we have a Bill and Ted phone booth, or is that more of a Harry Potter phone booth? That's a Harry Potter booth. I think maybe we need to go to the Ministry of Magic. All right, what do we have here? Some kind of tower thing, the lob. Trying to read it, but my headset resolution is... Not the best. It says Istanbul. So this is from Turkey, I would say. We have an empty note. Looks like the Coliseum. And last but not least, is that the Empire State Building? That's what it looks like. So, am I a world traveler, or do I just like collecting these little knickknacks from the airport gift shop? I don't know. Let's see here. We have the Bible, of course. Looks like the foreword is ripped out. But we are in Genesis still in chapter 1 but starting on verse 29 God also told them look I have given you every seed bearing plant that grows throughout the earth along with every tree that grows seed bearing fruit they will produce your food I have given all green plants as food for every wild animal of the earth every bird that flies and to every living thing that crawls on the earth and this is what happened. Now God saw all that he had made, and indeed it was very good. The twilight and the dawn were the sixth day. And with this the heavens and the earth were completed, including all that went array, all their vast array. By the seventh day God had completed the work and he had been doing, and so on the seventh day, he stopped working on everything that he had done. Then God blessed the seventh day and made it holy. Because on it, God stopped working on everything that he had been creating. Amen. Uh oh, I found stuff. It's the same thing. Honey, do you recognize the postcard? Yeah, it's the same thing. And we have a playing card. 
The Ace of Spades. The Ace of Spades. Well, oh, another postcard. If I can get it. The drawer wants to go all wonky when I get it. Try to get it with my right hand. Greetings from Louisiana. This one's blank. Okay, nothing there. These drawers are definitely unruly. Okay. More postcards. This is the Pelican Motel. Blank, but look. A drop of blood on this one. My subconscious telling me something. Maybe I did something bad at that location. And here we have all Halloween greetings. With a couple of guys slicing into a pumpkin face. Perhaps this is a clue as well. It was turned upside down so that I couldn't see this. Maybe I murdered somebody. Or maybe the people that are holding me want me to think that I did. We are Paradise Lost. This also inside the cabinet. Maybe that's significant. Okay, and last thing we always check when we're in one of these games is can we flush the toilet? This is not interactive at all. All right. So now that we have properly examined this place, let's start trying to work out what we're supposed supposed to do. This piece of art looks weird. It looks like a piece of drywall or something. It's been painted on with watercolor. Oh. If I am a murderer, who did I kill? Place the clue here, it says. I remember a bird on the water. What was it? This is everything that I can remember. I have to hide what I know. The doctors say that memories haunt me, so I hide this from them. These things here seem familiar. There must be a trigger. Alright. This says, if I'm a murderer, who do I kill? Who did I kill? Place the clue here. So, this bird on the water thing is in the same area. So what I'm thinking is they want me to put this Pelican Motel thing right there. No? The only other real clue I could see is this thing. Is that not it either? Swan. No. Oh. We have achieved the memory. We can carry items between rooms, it says. Oh, wow. Looks like we've made it back to Louisiana. The Bayou.
Interesting. Old swing set broken down. Gigantic crocodile or alligator, I suppose. Broken deer antler. It's eyes gone and everything. Look at that. So I suppose this is my triggered memory. I'm trying to piece together things in my mind to determine where I've been, what I've done, and why I'm in the predicament that I'm in. I'm digging it. I like it. Cypress Lodge, is that where I'm at? Looks like there was a catastrophic storm on the way. This is 2005, some uh, eight years before the present day in this game. Meteorologists have predicted that a deadly hurricane will hit within the next 48 hours. The storm is expected to cause major damage to buildings, crops, and livestock, and the infrastructure of the area. People have been advised to leave their homes as most of the area will be uninhabitable for weeks. Regional hospitals have already started to transfer patients to facilities in other areas, but some residents are worried that not enough is being done for anyone who is not able to leave, and there are calls for the government to help evacuate anyone who cannot find safe shelter or does not have the means of leaving town. Some private companies, such as the Greenwater Institute, will be offering shelter and emergency supplies to those who are most in need. Those who are unable or unwilling to leave their homes are advised to stay indoors in basements or secure areas of the property and ensure that they have supplies of fresh water and non-perishable food. And then we have some news about the Iraq war down there. And... <laughs> Subprime loan. Um, Subprime loan advertisement true to the time this is what caused the well what supposedly caused the uh, financial crisis of 2008 for all the subprime loans they were handing out in 2005 but that's neither here nor there the power lamp Some tools, we got a pair of pliers and a wrench, a green bottle, cool looking bottle. Come on now. There we go. All right, what else? I know there's stuff in the drawer over there. I can see it. I'm just working my way up to that. Cypress Lodge fire safety notice. Okay, so we are definitely in the Cypress Lodge. We thought we were. Now we know we were. I mean, that deer's eye looks weird. All right, what do we have here? Milk carton. Missing boy named Lance. Nutrition facts. Some cigarettes. Somebody doesn't smoke all their cigarette down. Just takes a couple of puffs and that's it. We got a cook stove. And a drawer. There's a drawer here, but there's no drawer missing out of that thing. So I wonder where this came from. Maybe out of this. All right. So let's see what's in the drawers here. I'm sure this is the significant stuff here. Another Louisiana postcard. This has a pelican instead of a swan. So I'm wondering why the swan is significant.
power lamp. To operate, hold flashlight in hand and press the thumbstick. Oh, that looks like my right controller. Let me get a better grip here. You have to use the trigger instead of the grip button. It's a little bit awkward. Right, there we go. Let there be light. And there was light. Here's my core promising. Why am I turning? Well, it's because I have to. I got it. So you don't have to hold the thumbstick and you can just press it. So here's my bottle of chlorpromazine. What else am I taking? Just another empty bottle. Okay. Another Cypress Lodge. Postcard. And that appears to be... We can see a lot more of the moss on this thing. Now that we have a lot. All right, so the question is, and we've looked at everything out here, can we go through the door? <laughs> What's that voice? Screwdriver. Screwdriver. All right, can I pry this thing open? I can. All right, so we're inside the lodge now. But it's telling me to beware of the all seeing eye. some duct tape have another piece oh wow look at that gnarly looking skull over there looks like we have a bridge with a boat passing underneath Oh, there's words on the back. All right. More than having no affordable homes by those lost in 2005. This is a further blow for survivors. Catastrophe. All right. So this is a, a piece of another newspaper or magazine post flood. I see shackles. Somebody was being held here. Probably post Katrina. Somebody was being held at this lodge. And there are lots of flies coming from these bags. There's a what appears to be a bloody hacksaw and a human rib. Got some meat hooks. More bottles and cigarettes. Somebody got bored or hungry. Was it the pizza guy? Did we did we murder the pizza guy? 
The box literally says pizza guy on it. Maybe we murdered the pizza guy. Did we eat him? Because we were trapped from the flood? But why would the pizza guy be here during the flood? I actually managed to break that bottle. Hell yeah. Can't move those boxes. So this is very much looks like a, a captive scene. Somebody was captured here. And murdered most likely. Look at all this blood. Somebody wrote in the blood, beware of the eye. Mm, what do we have here? Physics are a little weird. The Greenwater Institute Care and Security. So this is just an ad for the Greenwater Institute, which is where I'm assuming that I'm being treated at right now. So I'm probably still in Louisiana. Because they, the newspaper I read outside said the Greenwater Institute would provide aid during the storm. And this shows that the Greenwater Institute is this medical facility with on-site psychiatry. So I'm being held at the Greenwater Institute in Los or not in Louisiana. Authorities welcome regeneration, but locals feel abandoned. Escaped hero returns to tragedy after six years in captivity. That's an interesting story. Today heralds a new phase in the local area when the last of the derelict residential districts that were damaged on devastating storm of 2005 will be demolished and made way for more commercial buildings. What, when, when is this? 2011 so this one comes from two years ago where the other one was from eight years ago the city has already demolished scores of public housing projects where thousands of locals had lived replacing them with modern low-density homes which appeal to the influx of younger and more affluent residents but has many of the previous families without a home right, let's read about this escaped army hero a brave army medic who had been declared MIA in Iraq since 05 escaped back to the U.S. after being held captain for seven years by militants only to find his family have not been seen since the devastating hurricane of 05. Oh. Officials are holding details of the soldier's name and rank. We have confirmed that he is relatively healthy and will be signed off after a full debrief. Sources say that the soldier managed to flee his captors when the local rebel groups overran the makeshift prison where he was being held and traveled over six days in hostile territory to reach the Turkish border. All right, and we have some more pelicans up here I'd like to point out. All right, so what this says to me as a working theory of course we need to find more evidence um maybe i'm this soldier that was being detained in iraq i came back uh i came back home and i couldn't find my family they had gone missing in the storm now i've got that postcard 
I assumed was a postcard to me in the hospital, but what if that was a postcard to me in the military? So when I couldn't find my family, I came here, which is the last place that I knew them to be. Now, what did I do after I got here? I don't know. But it looks like it could be something uh, sinister. Because obviously I'm going to have some PTSD going on from being held captive and God knows what happened to me when I was a prisoner. Is there a rat in that bag? Hmm. And there it went. And there is my crowbar. Look at that. Beautiful crowbar. I was wondering how I was going to get this panel up. so alone gonna end up a big old pile of bones believe them bones are me so we're born into the grave. Alright, so we haven't tried to get out of the room yet. That looks like wood almost. Like it's a sculpture or something. I feel so alone. Gonna end up a big old pile of them bones. All right, what am I supposed to do? Oh, I got a hacksaw. Maybe I can cut the log. That would totally be what I would try. Well, there has to be some meaning to this. It won't let me go down into the water. Is there something else down there that I missed? No. Look, there's some scratches on the wood, maybe, but. Hmm. Can I crowbar open that door, maybe? So let's, maybe I can crowbar off that piece of plywood over there. Hmm. So we already looked at that. We've got these shackles. I get the clues. I can see what it's trying to tell me, but what do I do now is the question. There's a 
Fairly big lock on the door to get out of here. Maybe I need one of those tools from out here. Make sure nothing out here has changed. It has not. Oh, wait a minute, what is this? This hole wasn't here before, I don't think. I'm going to go back and get my crowbar. thing go does it go into that net maybe yeah that's what it did and there's the key voila just like that It's a big swan boat. There's a crank. Is it like a paddle boat? I guess I can't go back and get my light, huh? Well, let's crank the swan across the... So we're still in our memory here, so... I still don't know what significance the swan has, but clearly we made our way out here after the Katrina flood. Can I steer this thing at all? I can't. This is cool looking. I don't think I've had a chance to mention it yet, but the uh, in terms of production value, this this game looks and sounds very good. Blind faith will not make you see. Yeah, from an audio-visual standpoint, I would put this on the level of uh, The Exorcist Legion VR. It's very similar to that from a look and sound perspective. This is cool, just to see this representation. What is that? Look at that. It looked like the Grim Reaper standing over there. Anyway, to um, experience this recreation of the damage from her Katrina is a pretty cool thing. People should do more things like this. Recreations 
until 3D 3D 360 video gets to where it needs to be. We can we can do accurate recreations. It would be just as informative and educational. This is beautiful. Look at these willow trees. I guess I was wrong to um, avoid the uh, escape the room type games because if it's something like this you don't stay in the room There's a rope in the water here. I don't know if I can reach it or not. Oh my goodness. Look at that. That board back there said he sacrificed himself for you and then there's this guy with a noose around his neck floating in the water. I wonder who that was. Okay, so we're back in our room having triggered that memory. What a memory it was. I think this is a good logical place to uh, cut it. We've been going for a while now. And if you count the uh, time that I put into just getting the locomotion options to be available, it have been in here quite a while. So yeah, I gotta say that uh, for an escape the room type game this has been much more than i had bargained for uh it looks very promising i do enjoy these surreal psychotic type games that make you question your senses some of my favorite stuff in vr so so far so good i'm really enjoying it the story uh seems to be taking a creepy turn what is that thing the story seems to be taking a pretty creepy turn, and uh, I'm digging it. I'll definitely be back in to uh, progress. Looking at this door, it's got all the same inscriptions as the medicine room door. This is the, ki the kind of uh, surreal, psychotic thing that I'm talking about. It makes you question what you're seeing and hearing because obviously I'm playing a character who's heavily medicated and having a psychotic break. So I'm digging the story. Audio visuals, top notch. Um, is it worth the $25 that they want on the PlayStation Store? Well, only time will tell. We're just getting started with this one. But it's a promising start. At least that's what I think. Let me know what you think by leaving a comment down below. And if you like what you see here, click that like button, subscribe, and don't forget the notification bell. 
When we come back, we're going to keep looking for clues and try to trigger more memories to find out who I am, what I did, who I did it to, and why. But until then, I want to thank you for watching, and I will see you another day from another game. Thanks for watching, folks. Bye-bye.